All right, a fairly vigorous storm system for this time year. We start off taking a look at it on the southwest satellite. It's an upper level area of low pressure you see spinning across Southern California. Moved into the region a little quicker than in thought once thought. It was uh, in the Southern California yesterday. We started seeing showers across the region. A very slow moving storm still over the Southern California deserts, and this will continue to track across Arizona here over the next 36 hours or so. Not a ton of moisture to work with, but just enough to see uh, some pretty widespread scattered widespread showers and thunderstorms across the region. Not looking too active out there right now, but with this thing in the vicinity, we're going to continue with chances for rain right through the night tonight and through the day tomorrow uh, before it starts to clear around midweek. Only 55 degrees today in Flagstaff. I think we're uh, right around 80 last Monday when we talked. 66 is the average for this time of year. Over a half of an inch of rain today in Flagstaff. Now over 20 inches since January 1. So we're looking pretty good there on our rainfall averages. All right, we take a look at a plot of the rainfall totals for the region and the colors underneath our radar estimates. So the yellows are uh, some of the higher um, numbers and you can see the numbers are also color coded as well. So here we are in Flagstaff and uh, the grain gauge up at Fort Valley at over an inch at 1.10 inches, 1.30 inches. That is uh, Sedona or no, that's Mormon Mountain. Sedona is at uh, almost an inch and a half and you get down onto the eastern Mogollon Rim and you're seeing some numbers uh, two, two and a half type inches uh, down around the Payson region. Much less rain out in western Arizona and Yavapai County. But with that storm system moving in, look for some rainfall here. And I think by the time we're set and done with the storm system, everybody's going to be up around at least an inch. Some totals around three plus inches. A cool day obviously out there today. Definitely feeling like fall, only 68 in Sedona, pace in 74, Winslow 68. All right, we take a look at it on the water vapor because it just shows up a little bit better. This huge area of rotation, that's the upper level low pressure center. And uh, this whole area of low pressure is going to just kind of slowly track across Arizona over the next 24 hours or so. And then I think on Wednesday, it moves off into southeastern Arizona and Mexico with showers and thunderstorms ending Wednesday from west to east pretty rapidly. I think showers are mainly confined to the eastern Mogollon Rim and White Mountains on Wednesday, but we'll continue with uh, even a chance of some severe thunderstorms in the forecast for our Tuesday and possible flooding concerns as well. Okay, currently outside it's 50 degrees, light and variable wind obviously on the uh, moist side with humidity at 89%. Okay, chance of showers is in the forecast for us tonight. 42 degrees, mostly cloudy. And tomorrow, another cool, damp, and uh, stormy day for us with a high temperature forecast of only 54 degrees. And definitely, um, you want to uh, be safe out there with some of these stronger thunderstorms possible. Some hail, and uh, you can't even rule out the threat of a tornado. We talked about earlier there was that uh, funnel cloud up by Fredonia today on the north rim of the canyon. Okay, uh, 63 in Tuba tomorrow, 66 Winslow, 64 Payson, 64 degrees in Prescott. All right, these numbers are... Uh, a little cool for this time of year, but I don't think we're complaining. Uh, by the time we get into midweek Wednesday, that storm system starts to exit and uh, much more dry and mild weather is looking to be in the setup for us here by the time we get to the latter half of the week and continuing into the weekend. Perfect. So it's going to start drying up a little bit and we're going to see some sunny skies uh, looking like by the end of the week, that's exactly which right. is a great time to get your fall pictures in. We want to remind you about our fall colors photo contest. You can send us your fall pictures for a chance to win a pair of tickets to out of Africa. That's right. To enter, post your photos on Twitter and on Facebook and tag NAZ today and use the hashtag NAZ Autumn. This contest is open until Wednesday at 5 p.m. When, we'll, when we will announce the winner of the tickets on the air. So be sure to tune in then.